Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of X-Plane 11 Configuration and Setup and today we're going to be talking about using Mr. X's airport environment uh, mod package that increases the environmental look of the airport. All right, and uh, see if we can't spruce this sim up even more. We're still sitting at Tucson International, just like we have been previously. So again, any previous videos will give you guys a better before and after if you prefer it. But as you're looking at it right now, is before this particular mod. So let's go ahead and see how to make it work. All right, so once again, we have gone to the forums. I'll have a link for this in the description below in case you guys are interested in grabbing it or don't have it already. But we're going to go ahead and take this guy right here, the Airport Environment HD 2.13. And just like before, we're going to extract to its own folder. And the first step is we're going to come in here and we're going to go to part one. He's done a very good job of breaking this down. You can also open up the PDF, which I believe has the similar instructions, but gives you an idea of what's going on. It's really not very difficult. There's only a few steps that you have to complete, and we can just walk through those right now. So installation part one. Go inside the part one texture folder and copy all files and folders to explain resources, bitmaps, runways. So let's go ahead and do that. So here's all of our contents. So we're just going to do Control All, Control X. Then we're going to go and find our Xplane folder. So we'll just go B, Xplane, and he identified it as Resources, Bitmaps, and we're looking for Runways, Runways, and then just copy and paste. Replace, yep. Okay, part one is complete. Now, part two, let's come here. Our installation 1.5, there is an optional European runway numbers and uh, leading zero for single digits. Um, and it breaks down how to go through that. I'm not gonna worry about that part. Let's just go straight to part two. Part two, go inside the part two scenery library. So let's go back to our downloads folder. And let's open part two. We have airport environment HD, that's the folder, into the X2011 custom scenery uh, folder. If you have previously installed any older version of airport in HD, delete those folders. Um, and then we should be clear to go. Also, part three, go inside, this is optional, pre-XP 11.35. So if you're on the latest version of X2011, do not do this. Um, but he does give you the instructions what to do if you are on a lower version. Um, let's see here. And then the scenery packs. We'll get to that in just a second. So first, let's make sure there's nothing else in there. Good. That's the folder we want. So now let's go back into custom scenery here. And drop this guy in. Now you can do this one of two ways. You can manually type everything out, which we can do here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste all of this, okay? This is identifying the directory in which this look exists. I'm just going to come down one for a second and do that. We can come up here and we can hit F2 and Control C again. Come in here, paste, okay, and save. Now let's see where it wants it. So coming into step two, I should say three, I guess, for us. Inside your customer scenery folder, you will find a folder called the Scenery Packs INI. That's what we're editing down there, which defines the orders in which your sceneries and libraries are loaded. You can open this file with any text editor. If you run explain at least once after installing Airport Environment HD, you will find an entry called Airport Environment HD at the top. This should always be below any seasonal add-ons like TerraMax, above, but above similar libraries like Taxi Line Replacements. All right, so in that case, what I'm going to do with this guy is I'm going to take it and control X and I'm going to put it above any of my other um, libraries. So we're going to put it right there is where I'm going to throw it. And let's see how it does. So we're just going to hit save and let's launch the sim. All right, so here we are back in the sim and you guys can hopefully immediately tell a difference in everything between the way the runway looks, the numbers look. Heck, let's go take a peek. So we got taxiways. Runway. 
runway signs, numbering and striping. Here's onto the main runway. Climb up a little bit. So hopefully you guys can see that was a major difference in the quality of the airport. Now again, I know a lot of people are saying this still isn't Microsoft Flight Simulator and I'm sure that's gonna be a common theme that keeps popping up. But this is still a massive improvement from when we started without spending a dime. Okay, so that's sort of where, again, X-Plane 11 can come close. It can compete, guys. Um, yes, I admit that it's, it's still got many fallbacks and a ways to go, but we're not even close to done. This is just, these are all the free add-ons, and right now we're only worrying about Tucson. You know, we haven't gone to any of the um, major airports that have the high-quality airfields. You have to remember, I'm, Tucson is, is the forgotten stepchild of Arizona. Let's just call it what it is. Uh, but, uh, anyway, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this so far. Again, leave a like and subscribe if you guys are digging on this. And stay tuned as we have much, much more to do to configure X-Plane 11 um, for flight. All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.